TV, Significant Stories from Significant Entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Fran McNeil, and joining me in the studio today is CC Rex, LMT, and owner of Special Touch Massages. CC, welcome to Significant TV. Thank you for having me. Sure, my pleasure. Um, we have known each other for a number of years. Um, you were actually part of a group that was taking a class on learning how to be an entrepreneur a number of years back. And so it is totally cool to see you now years later in your own business and growing that business. So congratulations. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah. So I know when I introduced you, I shared that you had letters behind your name, LMT. What mm -hmm. do those stand for and why are, there, why are they important to you? So those letters stand for Licensed Massage Therapist. Mm -hmm. um, the letters are very important because it says that the country has taken a step forward in acknowledging massage therapy and the professionalism of, of, the, uh, of the work. Mm. So in the past, that wasn't as true? Not that it wasn't as true, but most people saw massages, that thing you got on vacation, or that luxury item. And now it's being more acknowledged as a healthcare, um, as, as a part of healthcare. Right, right. And so you can actually, as a patient, get a prescription from your doctor and or recommendations that you get a massage as part of your therapy. Yes, right. um, most auto insurance, most people don't know this, but auto insurance policies Massage therapy is built into those policies, so when you I are didn't in... didn't know that. Uh -huh. Ooh, <laughs> So wow. when you're in an auto accident, they have a certain amount of massage time that they will cover for your rehabilitation care. Um, most doctors now, when people have aches and pains, say, hey, you know what, what you need is a massage. And they can write you a prescription and tell you to take it to your massage therapist as a, as a covered benefit. Um, it's, it's definitely come a long way since that luxury item most people definitely. got in the past. Definitely. So the work that you're doing now that it is kind of recognized, um, how has that helped you, in a sense, move from beyond behind the table <laughs> to in front of perhaps classrooms or other people? So you know some of the things that I'm proud to say that have happened over time mm -hmm. are I've gotten a chance to go into medical school environments, more allopathic medical school environments, mm -hmm. where I'm able to introduce massage as a viable healthcare career to high school students. Ooh. So I do presentations for them, letting them know a little bit more about the profession, um, all the science that's involved, because as a former instructor, when I asked my students, what brought you to massage school? So you know, my parents said I had to do something, so I figured I would go to massage school, and they didn't realize the full education, the full anatomy, physiology, and kinesiology that goes in with just rubbing someone mm -hmm. on a massage table. So you said anatomy, physiology, yes. and kinesi kinesi Kin <laughs> kinesiology. Uh, kinesiology. Um, what is the kinesiology? So it's the study of movement of the human body and how it mm -hmm. works and what ways it's able to move and bend and flex so that we function properly. Mm. Okay. So when you work as a massage therapist and when you teach and encourage others to sort of do the proper things, what what are you focusing on the most? <laughs> uh, the most. Mm -hmm. um, the focus is on the person who is in front of you. Mm -hmm. And for that, you, you have to just be in a present moment mm -hmm. with the person that you're working with. What are their issues? What are, what's their work life like? What movements do they do all day that may contribute to the muscular aches and pains? Um, what's currently bringing them in to see you? Mm -hmm. um, the listening skills portion of it, because most people don't realize just how important that is. You may say, I do this all day, but not realize what muscles may be associated with your movements of every day. Mm -hmm. So it's able to be able to educate the person who's also on your table so that they not only have the care that you're offering them in the studio, but as well as be cognizant of things that they're doing around the house or in their everyday life that can help them improve their well-being. Wow, that is really, really powerful. So how did you know that this is what you really wanted to do? <laughs> I mean, you're, you're, you're talking to high school students, but how and when did you know for you? Um, so it's, it's interesting. 
it's one of those things where I think everybody is born with that thing that they're supposed to be mm -hmm. doing. I started paying attention to it at 20 years old. Okay. Um, I had a cousin who was involved in an auto accident when I was, say, second grade, and she always asked me to rub her back, and I love making her feel better. Mm -hmm. um, I had a cousin who unfortunately passed away from HIV, but before he passed away, he would love, you know, rubs just to soothe him. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm in my dorm room one day, and I have a classmate who needs a back rub, and I'm also able to study for a test, and I'm able to do these things simultaneously mm -hmm. while I'm in my home environment in my dorm. And I was like, ping. Yeah. I'm going to massage school. It just seemed like the right thing at the right moment, and, and that's when it happened to hit me. Wow. And in school, did they teach you about the business of being a massage therapist, or did you learn that somewhere else? So, actually, you've been a, a great influence mm -hmm. on that part of it, Fran. Mm -hmm. um, in school, they teach you the, the science part of it. They teach you how to get into more relationship with yourself so that mm -hmm. you are able to help others. They have a business course that's available, but there's nothing as in depth as what I've studied at you know, with the women's business entrepreneurship class, mm -hmm. and that really gave me that extra push that I needed to bring everything together. Wow! So you, in what you do, help people feel better. The medical industry, the insurance industry, recognizes it. What do you think is next for massage therapists moving forward? Oh my, this industry is so wide open. Mm -hmm. um, the Massage Therapy Foundation, um, organizations such as ABMP, Associated Body Work and Massage Professionals, they're all calling for abstracts and research about how massage works and what aspects mm -hmm. of massage work. Um, there are plenty of industries that are coupling with massage at this point, mm -hmm. so physical therapy, um, Facilities are looking for massage therapists. Hospitals mm. are looking for massage therapists. Chiropractors work closely with massage therapists. Um, and moving forward, it would be a specialization in massage therapy. Mm. So you would have the massage therapist that works with the orthopedic population, some that work with the geriatric population, mm -hmm. um, some that work with just infants and mothers and people who are going through rehab people who have sports injuries, and those who just need to relax. So it can run the gamut of who is able to be worked on, but literally everybody has muscles, so there is some need for a massage. Mm. And literally like everybody and then every body. body. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And is this a profession where you have to get continuing education or um, continuing accreditation based on what you're doing? So with the massages in here in Pennsylvania, you have to complete 24 continuing education units to keep your license. Mm -hmm. The license is renewed every two years, and in that two years, you have to have 24 credits. Okay. So you okay. always have to learn something new, always have to be on, you know, just kind of the cutting edge of what's going on in the profession. Depending on where you want to go and how you want to structure your career, it's very, very open to you. Which is great, because then you get to do what you love, and your clients really benefit by you being knowledgeable and being, as you said, able to really listen to them. Yeah. So in your experience, when you kind of look back, what's a success story of when someone came to you and said, Cece, I am so glad I made time to make sure that I saw you because X, Y, Z. <laughs> So there's one client in particular whose name is Diane. Um, with her, she was uh, she ran a family court stenography business for mm. a long time, so she had really tight muscles in her forearms. Oh, okay. Um, we worked together for a couple months. She wasn't able to make fist when we first started. Mm. After about let's let, let's say six weeks of sessions, she was finally able to make a fist, and I cried. Wow. Because it was, oh my gosh, I helped her. Oh my gosh, she can do this. Oh my gosh, she feels better. And it was like, I just kind of walked around. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, I helped. And it, that's yeah. one of those things that really keep you in the profession to know that you are helping someone and to see that result happen after some time working together. Mm -hmm. Well, that is truly significant. <laughs> um, and, and so your work is critical on a lot of levels. And you talked earlier about how you have to listen to the customer. What do you do to prepare before each client so that your mind is kind of where it needs to be? How do you sort of prep yourself? So um, 
everybody has their own individual way of preparing for a client. Mm -hmm. I know I may listen to violin, which is my favorite, yeah. but it kind of keeps me in a very swayed, very like grounded mm -hmm. aspect of, of the day. Um, I try not to take phone calls. Mm -hmm. About 20 minutes before I see a client, I don't have any outside influence that's really going to upset that balance. Mm -hmm. um, I prepare for that client. I say, what is this person like? What do they need? What are they here for? Um, I, I take a couple minutes doing some deep breathing and then I laugh. 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 Okay. Whatever. A big belly laugh. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not a big. Well, close to that. Okay. Um, but I take a couple minutes to laugh and then realize how silly I'm being to let me be a little bit more carefree in mm -hmm. my day, so that by the time they come in, they're like, "You are always so just jovial," and I'm like, "You know, you have no idea what I do to prepare for you to get here." <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> But a lot of it does come in, in laughing and smiling and just realizing mm. that I'm here for this person. Mm. Imagine it's five years from now. Mm -hmm. Where will you be <laughs> with your business? You know, five years from now, because I've, I've thought about this significantly, mm -hmm. um, I will have contracts with SEPTA. Mm. I will have those contracts to work on their drivers, their trolley drivers, their bus drivers, their maintenance people. Uh, and looking at the research and looking at the reports, drivers, you know, suffer a significant 70% of lower body damages from sitting all day long. Ooh. Have low back injuries from sitting all day long. Um, carpal tunnel from just operating the buses. Stress from dealing with customers, from just everyday stresses of life. And when you sit and compound all those factors, Ooh. they need a way to release that. Mm -hmm. for a, a way for a company to be more success, successful to avoid all the call outs and it helps not only the driver but the company and the customer. Mm -hmm. Five years from now I see myself running that massage therapy portion for SEPTA. Wow, I love it, I love it and I can see that for you as well. I think perhaps even sooner. So let's, let's talk afterwards <laughs> and, and try to make that happen. That's really cool. What do you do to relax in your free time then? Free time. Free time. <laughs> okay, that's true. What entrepreneur um, has free time? But you got to like, make some. Yeah, and making some free time, um, mm -hmm. and it may not sound like free time, but I like to read. Mm -hmm. I like to read motivational books, and it keeps me energized, especially in those moments as entrepreneurs that we can all have, where you know it, it may not always be going the best, but then you read a story and you're re-energized to do the work. Um, if I'm not reading, I like to shoot a game of pool. Mm. It helps me to strategize when I see all the balls on the table and I can put them oh, in proper wow. pockets. Okay. And it helps me to understand where to put things and clear my mind. Mm. Um, there's this four-year-old child that I love to spend time with and play with because while he has such a great imagination, it allows me not to think about anything at all. Mm. Um, just spending time with family mm -hmm. and, and sleep. Sleep. Oh, it may be an there's hour. There's books written in about that. <laughs> right. Sleep is actually <laughs> relaxing, shockingly. <laughs> <laughs> it may be an hour. It may be, you know, uh -huh. a two-hour thing, but spending mm -hmm. some time just to recharge. Right. Wow. I love it. I, lo I Thank you so much for being on the show. I know some people are saying to themselves, Fran, please let us know where we can get in touch with CC. What would you recommend? So currently, you can get in touch with me at www.specialtouchmassages.com. Mm -hmm. um, the website is being restructured, but there is space for communication where you have um, Massage and Body Work magazine. So there are articles on different topics if you want to go in and explore. There's also, if you have any questions, a section where you can write in your questions and you can get those responded to within 24 hours. Terrific. Now, I realize I forgot, and we have just a few seconds left. You brought something with you. Would you <laughs> Would you show us what you brought? Hold it up high and give us the quick story, like 10-second version. So this is my monkey. Your monkey. My monkey. Oh, okay. Um, I was working on a major project, and this is also my USB. Oh, so I keep okay. it with me at all times. Mm -hmm. I lost the USB because somebody thought that it was theirs, and I had like the adult, you know, version of my USB. But this keeps me in mind that I have to be an original in order to get my work out there because it had all my prior work was on like the adult one that looked like everyone else, mm -hmm. but now it's lost. This mm -hmm. one I've kept for a, a great amount of time. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well, Cece, thanks so much for bring, being on the show. Um, continued success in your massage practice. Um, you know, I am so excited again to see your development and I know that there are a lot of folks out there that are happy to know 
that their auto insurance can cover your services, that chiropractors and doctors and physical therapists are all working with massage therapists to make sure that services like yours can be available. Thank you. No problem, thank you. You're welcome. Significant stories, significant entrepreneurs, significant massage therapists like CC Rex. Who knew? Join us as we continue to discover the world of high tech, high touch, and fantastic people.